7up is a direct response to Ofsted's request for music hubs to work with schools in the classroom, in the curriculum. We are working quite a lot in primary schools in Brent, um, but this is the first time we'll be engaging with the secondary school curriculum. partnership with the RPO uh, has existed for some time. We've been involved in quite a lot of really successful partnership work in Brent in the past. Uh, and with James Redwood in particular, we worked on a, on a massive project two years ago, uh, which culminated at the Royal Albert Hall and Wembley Arena. And we felt that the RPO, in conjunction with James, were the perfect partners to deliver what we felt was a really high energy project in a school where it can be quite challenging to actually motivate and energise Year 7s, particularly in the summer term, which it is now, uh, and we felt that James's energy and the players who come with such a, a great attitude to working with young people seemed to us to just be a perfect fit. One of the first things we did was to create building blocks of musical material that would be accessible right across the range of abilities for the whole of Year 7, ranging from very straightforward body percussions that people could pick up immediately, right the way through harder body percussion pieces and into instrumental pieces, all to be accessible for young musicians with different levels of experience and technical expertise. It's a backdrop for a new composition to happen and there's space there for the year sevens to compose melodies or to rearrange some of the melodies that I've given them. Um, or to make other texts just add to the backdrop. When Brent Music Service approached us about this project, I was certainly quite um, sceptical, perhaps, about how that was going to work on such a big scale. However, I was really taken with the idea of the whole of our Year 7 cohort being involved in a musical project. I think in terms of the support that the RPO has given us in Brent Music Service, we have been given a lot of the material that we'd need to be able to deliver the project. So in terms of resources, we have been really supported. We have had to put a scheme of work in place to be able to embed this project in our curriculum, but we have had a lot of help from Brent Music Service with that. Um, in terms of the delivery of the project, you know, we've been given quite a lot of freedom. I think what this project has allowed me to do is to teach much more in a way that I would want to teach. It's very practical, it's very active, it's absolutely exhausting, but it's teaching in a way that I would prefer to teach. So I think I'm a much happier teacher as a result. The music lessons, um, they've been really fun. I think it has inspired me to, to persevere and to try again at new things like um, it's made me be more confident in in playing music. Yes it's made me think about being more focused because when you, know, you see like, the violins and tennis play you said they're really focused and they're really good at it and you, must, and you think it must have taken them a long time and a lot of focus to get to that stage and you want to get to that stage as well. I think in terms of the body percussion that we've been using, that has really allowed certainly the boys another way into music. They do arrive in year seven quite reluctant to sing, but I think using beatboxing sounds and body percussion does hook them in in a different way to singing a song does. So I think in terms of engagement, I think it's really targeted the boys in particular in a really positive way. When uh, we were doing all the body percussion with other Year 7s, um, i never done body percussion before and it was kind of complicated to do. Now I, now I, when I'm at home, even when, I, like, when I'm outside, I just pat my body for some reason, but yeah, it just got me into body percussion. The students have really responded well to the project. I think knowing that they've got an end result, knowing that there's actually a concert that we're building up to has been really motivational for them and they have really bought into the whole project. In year seven when they said we was gonna the orchestra was gonna come in, I wasn't expecting us to like perform with them because I've never performed with an orchestra before. So yeah, it's kind of exciting. The curriculum does specify the importance of performance really feel 
the experience of a concert because actually a lot of our students may have never performed in a formal concert environment. My piece was a solo piece with one of the raps to do with the class variation and I also got to play on the gym bays which I really liked as well so that would probably be one of my highlights of the actual project and it ended astonishingly I don't know how to put it into words just it ended amazingly the song that was my one of my favorites as well as the body percussion I just love the rhythm, the beat, the music. I never really liked classical music, but I really like it now because we did remixes, variations, and all things like that. I think what I've learned from this project is that there are alternative ways to teach in a music curriculum. It's really important to still keep practical activities going in the classroom and even if students do arrive with some reluctance to sing and to get involved practically, we are able to do that as secondary school teachers.